Is there is there any particular teams that are often sort of overlooked or anyone that you really try and bring in as early as possible into that process outside of the sort of core implementation team? Security. I've seen projects stopped in their tracks because nobody mm -hmm. thought to include them. And at some places, and probably rightfully so, they have a tremendous amount of power to just say no um, or wait. And uh, yeah, I've seen a few of those where, you know, the, the train is rolling down the track pretty quickly and then security catches wind of it through some status meeting or something like that. And they show up to the meeting and say, we've reviewed none of this and you will stop work until we approve all of it. So, it, it, you know, it's obviously the data team's gonna be involved. It seems obvious, but sometimes they get left out that your operations and networking folks are gonna be involved. So generally they all get brought in pretty early. Security gets left out a lot. And that would, that would be my number one piece of advice there is especially in an organization where that team or person even has a lot of control you need them on board first because any decision you make is subject to them saying, hey, we don't think that solution is as secure as it needs to be and you don't get to use it. Yeah, no, I think you hit the nail on the head there, um, Matt. Similar experience in my case, like they're the obvious teams, right? Like your developer teams, like the teams that are responsible for the application, your DBAs, your sysadmins or your DevOps team or whatever flavor you call them at your company. Um, the users, obviously your leadership and management, like those a lot of times are self-explanatory, but yeah, I agree. Security team needs to be brought in, um, pretty early on in the conversation to evaluate things. Um, I'll add, at least from my experience of having worked, kind of been on the internal side of companies of working with it, it is really, really hard to go, um, to sneak and do a cloud migration within a company. Like it's a pretty... It's a pretty big decision that has to be made. There's a lot of financial implications to it. Obviously, there's a lot of security implications to it. And like a lot of my experience has come from the healthcare industry um, where it's very heavily regulated. You have to do, like things have to be very secure. And I know not all industries are this way and maybe some other industries you can slip past security to get past it, but in healthcare, it's dang near impossible to, to go through and say, we're gonna migrate to the cloud and only me as the data team is going to make this decision to do it. Like typically your executive leaders are part of that or have to be part of that conversation before you ever even get started doing it. 